Well, I think that the, so the question was, um, what really happens when Botox is injected into the skin? Does it, does it ruin the nerves? And what is, what is safe to do? What's, what's a healthy approach to take? Well, amazingly, I, I'm really quite amazed at how, how Botox, how people love Botox. I've never had it done. I've never done it. So um, I'm not a Botox advocate, but if a patient comes to me and, and wants it done, I'll, re I'll refer them to a colleague who is ex extremely good at doing it. But the, it's really safe, and it does wear off over time. Nothing bad seems to happen when it wears off, and people get it, have it done again, and they respond to it again. And that paralyzed look is really when things have been overdone. So if, I think if you, it, it's a neurotoxin, so it paralyzes the, I mean, what you're doing is paralyzing the, the tiny little muscles in the skin so you can't move and create the frown line. But it, um, it, it isn't, it, if you do it in moderation, and, and it's very expensive too. So you, the people who, are, who have the no expression have spent a lot of money to have that done. <laughs> so I, I don't think most people are going to get into that trouble because they're, they're not, they're not going to agree to that price, which you agree upon ahead of time. But one thing I did want to mention, because I'm, I think it's really fascinating, is, is what you talked about, the parentheses there. Those are treated with what we call fillers. And fillers are things that fill in a defect, obviously, so it's a pretty simple name. But the it, the um, collagen used to be used as a filler and still is in some situations, um, but mostly now people use hyal hyaluronic acid or um, hydroxyl um, apatite to, as fillers. And these are pretty long-lasting, and they, they're, um, they stay in the skin for a while, and then they fade away, and they don't, they don't cause a lot of reaction, and they don't hurt too much when you inject them, and they, they plump up those areas of skin. But the really fascinating thing is that some, of the, some academic dermatologists have started looking at what happens to these fillers, and what it, it turns out that those fibroblasts that I mentioned at the beginning in the dermis of the skin uh, s begin to... Um, shrink over time and they start, they make less collagen and the collagen is being damaged by all these um, environmental factors. But when you put a filler next to the collagen, it stretches, the, next to the fibroblast, it stretches the fibroblast and these old fibroblasts start behaving like young fibroblasts because they're being mechanically stretched. So that filler that you think is just temporarily sitting there plumping up your skin is actually now it seems, fill, causing your fibroblasts to behave like young fibroblasts, and they're going to make young collagen. And that's probably why people keep going back to get the fillers, because it's not just wearing off and going back to the way it was before, but it's really making a difference. But that kind of basic science is what will, will let us um, better understand that and then use exactly the right filler for the, exactly the right person.